Hi everyone, here is Pask from Dark Tower Interactive and today I'm going to show you how to work with the ACF character controller. First of all, make sure that you have the plugin installed and you are working with the latest version of ACF. So, for, secondly, make sure to download the latest sample from Discord. If you're not verified, you can verify yourself by posting a question in product page or just sending uh, your invoice to the provided email. email. Uh, when you have all the plugin installed and you're working in the sample project, you can uh, locate your main character, which would be the ACF full player or the ACF ultimate player, depending if you're working with ACF or ACF ultimate. And then you can start tuning your uh, character controller by uh, checking your mesh component in your player and opening his uh, animation blueprint. In our case, we are going to work into my game project, Ascent Project, which is basically very similar to the sample project provided. When you open your animation blueprint, you'll see that this is built as a child of the ACF template ABP, which is the base ABP for humanoids, and it's built to work with Unreal Engine 5 skeleton, even if it can work with basically any skeleton being built with uh, the template logic. At the same time, if you are working with the UE4 skeleton, you will find as well a UE4 template you can inherit from, which is called UE4 Humanoid ABP. So now let's get started. First of all, let's locate the ACF tab into the defaults and in preview diff edit defaults. And here we can see how the animation blueprint is built. The animation blueprint is built into many layers. The first layers that are going to see is the moveset layers. Moveset layers are the one in charge to move your wall body. The one provided are built with a Lyra animation, but of course you can use your own. You, should, you can have a moveset layer uh, for every weapon, or you can just use one and add your overlays on top of your movesets. So movesets are in charge to uh, animate the wall body of your character and they are made by many many different animation as you can see you basically have animation for everything it could be needed in any situation like walking crouching jogging you start stops pivots leaning and idols and whatever and of course turning places you can, of course, when you change a weapon, you can, of course, change the wall movesets and providing new animation for every state, or you can simply uh, modify oh, what is it now? Modify the overlay, as we can see here, we can, which are just new layers, new and in blueprints built to basically uh, be blended on top of our movesets to modify only the upper body part of our character. In this case, we have overlays for single and sword, overlays for bow, and of course we can create as many as we want and place them here and anyone identified with a gameplay tag. They, in, in ACF, overlays and movesets are switched automatically when you change weapon. To see that, let's try to open a weapon and for instance, our uh, right hand sword, that was the name, is our dagger sword. Okay, here we have our AP dagger R, for instance. And here in the item, we can locate the desired. Moveset, moveset overlay, and moveset action. We are going to see the actions into another video. So basically, to every to every weapon, we can assign the desired moveset and the desired moveset overlays, which are the ones that are going to be activated in our animation blueprint right here. Of course, we can ignore the default implementation, and in our character, we can just call the node switch overlays or switch moveset and provide our tags to basically change movesets or overlay easily. Now let's come back to our animation blueprint and let's see how overlays are made. 
For instance, our sword overlay will give to our character the animation to be blended on top of the idle of all the animation of the move sets and the in the overlay in the aim offsets to be blended on top of the regular animation. In our case, it's just unarmed uh, ready. In our case, we are also using as a idle animation the one from the protector, which provides us a cool pose to held our weapons and our shield also so let's see how it performs actually during the game and of course we are also using another overlay for instance for uh, bow as we can see here we are going to blend the bow pose what is it here this bow idle pose on top of all the animation of the moveset which are the one provided from the sample project of Lyra in Unreal Engine 5. So now let's start this to see how it works. So by default we are in the unarmed movesets which is the one that is displayed now using Lyra animations. If we ship our weapons we are using the unarmed user in the bottom part and and we are now using the overlay on the upper part of our body to basically have our character use the weapon in a natural way and the same will happen when we try to help our bow the same layer logic is also used for riding we have our layer for riding in our case is built to ride a horse but in the sample project you were also pro you will also find a sample to basically build a radar animation also for riding vehicles like cars and in this case it's a very simple abp just playing and blend space of a guy basically riding a horse and let's see when we ride a horse automatically the rider layer is the one that will be used and of course the overlays will be always blended on top of it to create complex movement like the one you can see here like aiming with a bow on top of basically any kind of bone you can imagine and any kind of vehicle without writing a single line of code and last but not least in our character controller we also have the ek layer which is the one using to properly place hands and feet for our characters you have two EK layers already provided by ACF, which are the one for Unreal Engine 5 and the same for Unreal Engine 4 skeletons that should basically cover whatever you need, uh, whatever skeleton you need that can be assigned to an Unreal Engine 4, 5 skeleton or Unreal Engine 4 skeleton. But of course, you can simply swap the default EK implementation with your own if you don't like how ACF uh, EK layer works. Uh, last but not least, let's see how can you, we use a, a mesh, a custom mesh for our character. Let's see now the mesh that we are using. It's our cool warrior. Let's try to open it. And yes, basically the easiest way to work with that is basically locating the skeleton of our characters. In our case, is the default ACF skeleton, but if it's not the default one, we can just man go into the retarget source and manage the compatible skeleton and add the UE5 compatible skeleton as uh, the, U the ACF skeleton as a compatible one. You will find it as ACF underscore UE5 money or the UE4 mannequin skeleton, of course, from ACF that you can find it by type ascent ue4 this one so this is the easiest way to actually use out of the box the your uh, character model into acf and of course then replacing it in your mesh uh, skeletal mesh asset here and it should work out of the box 
Sometimes if the mesh is very different from the default mannequin from a real, what I suggest to do is to basically uh, locate your skeletal mesh, like I'm trying to do it now. Yeah, here it is. And then right clicking on it, you can find the skeleton and then go into assign skeleton and select the ACF UE5 if it's a character built to work with the UE5 skeleton or the ascent UE4 if it's built to work with the UE4 skeleton. If the skeleton is pretty similar, you will be able to automatically assign the ACF skeleton to uh, your character without having to modify it at all. And by doing this, you should be able to use the ACF animation blueprint out of the box. Remember that you have many different animation blueprint in ACF, depending on, of course, if you're using the UE4 skeleton or the UE5 skeleton, the humanoid default is using the UE5 version and the humanoid the UE4 is, of course, using the UE4 version. So what I suggest to do is to always create a child blueprint of the animation blueprint you intend to use, assign uh, the skeleton that you want to the child animation blueprint, assign the skeleton to the mesh character that you want to use and then start to fill in the layers as that you want to use in your character and assign them a tag that will depend on your weapons or your logic depending on of course what you want to do then if you want to build your own movesets or your own overlay or your own uh, rider layer what you have to do is uh, let's try to use as an example the unarmed bubble movement or the no let's use the single lens word overlay which is easier locate from acf the root class used by all the layers every layer as a base class that you should use in this case the acf base overlay if we check the move sets we uh, we will have where are those here if we check the move sets they will have the ACF base movesets and we can create a child class of the base one, assign our skeleton. Please remember that all the base classes will to be template so you can assign your own skeleton if you don't want to use the ACF one or just assign the ACF one and you can start filling your um, your movesets or overlays with your own animations and that's it. So thank you for watching and see you into the next tutorial.